Welcome to Bermuda Healthcare Services. With me today, my extreme right, is Chris Bingham, Chief Financial Officer, Bermuda Healthcare Services. Next to me is Dr. Mahesh Reddy, Medical Director of Bermuda Healthcare Services. To my left is Mrs. Donna Watson Rayner, President of the Bermuda National Athletic Association. And to her left is Marinelle Goolsby, Chief Operating Officer of Bermuda Healthcare Services. We're here this morning uh, to make a gesture of support uh, for the Bermuda National Athletic Association, in particular support for its uh, Bermuda Invitational Meet uh, to be held on April 22nd at the National Sports Center. It is important, as I've said many times, for Bermudians, both as individuals and as businesses, to support our athletes. It is important not just because they are pursuing noble goals, but because it adds to the strength of the fiber of our society. And we surely could use some strength in that fiber right now. Uh, Bermuda Healthcare Services has decided to sponsor two races at the track meet on the 22nd of April. Uh, Ms. Rayner can explain the details to you, but essentially uh, each race requires $1,500 of financial support. And Bermuda Healthcare has decided to get the ball rolling with other businesses and asking them to chip in and support our Bermudian athletes. And I've already made a couple of phone calls and I, I think I've gotten a positive response uh, from a couple of people uh, who will come to the wicket and support our, our athletes. It's so important that we do that. And so on behalf of Bermuda Healthcare Services and Brown Darrell Clinic, Donna, here's a check for $3,000 for two races at the track meet. Thank you. And my first question for Dr. Brown is, which two races is he gonna sponsor? Because we know he's a 400 meter specialist and we do have the 400 meters race in our event. So Dr. Brown, which are the two events? I thought you knew. <laughs> <laughs> the 400 and the uh, 800. Okay. So on behalf of the Bermuda National Athletics Association, I would like to thank Bermuda Healthcare Services for coming on board and becoming a sponsor of the Bermuda Invitational Permit Meet. This is an event not to be missed with top elite athletes competing against our own Bermuda athletes. And this will be on Bermuda soil, first time. All lanes will be filled and we are finalizing the names as we speak. We are using this event as one of our major fundraisers. Therefore, we are hoping to get companies, organizations, as Dr. Brown said, to sponsor an event, which is $1,500. Dr. Brown reached out to me and BHS has come on board sponsoring, as he stated, two events. The Bermuda Invitational Meet will be held Friday, April the 22nd, beginning at 6.30 at the National Sports Center. And this will be two hours of exciting track and field. If anyone remembers Carifta 2012 and the commentator that we had, Mr. Keith Joseph, he will be here and adding more excitement to that event. As he told you at Carifta, bring your pots and pans, bring your country flags, because we will be having athletes from Jamaica, Canada, Bahamas, USA, Nigeria, and of course our own Bermuda athletes, Tyrone Smith, Trey Houston, Aaron Adams, Evans, Cheyenne Smith, and Chase Smith will be competing. Bring out your country flags as, you will not, as this will not be an ordinary track meet. If you have seen any of the European track meets, you are in for an event. Tickets have gone on sale and can be purchased at www.bnaa.bm slash Bermuda Meet. And of course, we would definitely like to thank the Bermuda Tourism Authority for partnering, partnering with us on this event. But again, thank you, Bermuda Healthcare Services, for coming on board knowing that this is going to be an event that they're going to be proud of and Bermuda is going to be proud of. Thank you. I never performed at Carifta. Uh, I'm a little too young for that. Uh, 
uh, but I, I did compete in the uh, Commonwealth Games in, uh, in Jamaica in 1966, yes. Very close to my heart, uh, not just because of the excitement of the sport itself, but there's definitely an element of character building that goes into track and field uh, and other sports as well. And uh, I believe that uh, all sports can contribute to the development of one's character, including sailing. We've had some major events at the National Sports Center, uh, and we've had some historic moments. Are you looking for another one, such as uh, the Boats uh, performance at the Carifta, uh, the Trinidadian performance at the Carifta, and you want to win Olympic medals? Definitely, Earl. Um, at this event, we will have several Olympians um, who will be competing. We'll have athletes that are attempting to reach the standard for the uh, for the Olympics, including some of our own athletes. Um, so we're looking for some performances that are going to be blown out of the water, and possibly maybe we may see a world record again on Bermuda soil. I'd just like to comment that, uh, to a certain extent, uh, this type of fundraising uh, a month or so before the event should really not be necessary. Uh, there should be adequate sponsorship for our athletes in place so that we don't have to scrape uh, to make ends meet. And I'm urging the private sector and the public sector to come forward and make sure that this event is a tremendous success. Thank you.